Hi everybody, especially my greetings to all the teachers out there in need for new We Do 2 models. This time I'm presenting you this uh, remote controlled Sumo robot. This robot and joystick can be built using two We Do 2 sets because I used two motors to drive the robot and I used two hubs, one for the remote control and the other for the robot. You can attach the ramp here so it can become a sumo robot. Otherwise you can develop any kind of uh, wheeled vehicle. And optionally you can also attach this very aggressive face on top of your fighting robot. The joystick design is uh, based on the idea present in the WeDo app. While the robot is designed to be as simple and robust as possible because many teachers in the community are asking for very sturdy robots that don't come apart while the kids are building them. And I think this is pretty robust. It uses a simple uh, black pad to skid on the ground so there is no need for the caster wheel and I use a simple gear train as simple as possible to drive both wheels. One thing that has to be noted is that in order to the robot to go straight, the motors have to turn in opposite directions because the way they are geared down. To use the program I provide, you have to connect the remote first. Otherwise, the motors will change the colors in the app and it will not work. Once this is connected, I turn the robot on and I connect it from the app. Okay, now we are ready. I will place the robot like so, so you can understand better the movements, and I will start the program. Okay, the robot moves for a little while because I have to set the power, and you know that when I set the power, the motors move a little bit. Then it moves forward if I tilt the sensor forward. And to stop the robot, I have to bring the joystick back onto the vertical position. It can go backwards further again and stop. The lag you see, then that means the, the, the delay between my movement and the actual response of the robot, it depends in the legs, in the communication and the, the way the app is designed. To spin in place you can turn the joystick one direction or the other direction. It's pretty tricky to, to drive it because you have to take into account this delay between your movements and the actual response of the robot. I hope you enjoyed this We Do 2 project and I hope your students will have a blast building and fighting with these uh, remote control sumo robots. As always you can find a link for the building and programming instructions in the video description below. See you the next time! Ciao!